the great spark. You suck. What's up, guys? Craze back again. And today, I'm going to go a little bit old school on you. I'm going to show you guys kind of the games I played as a kid. I'm not saying that they're good games. I'm just saying that they're games I played and I actually really, really enjoyed. And uh, yeah, this is the first one. You guys probably have no idea what this is. This is called Slot Racers. And I love this game because me and my brothers would play together and uh, it would be really cool to get a win. And the cars, cars, I use that term loosely, uh, it could only go forward and turn down the, you know, the little, you know, slots. <laughs> and you go and you could fire like one bullet and uh, that's it. That's it. <laughs> but it was still, it was really kind of cool in the fact that was, I was able to play against my brothers and it was fun. Uh, in that aspect but the game itself it really does not hold up well over time uh, this this looks so bad now that I'm looking at it again it's so bad but it was still fun it was still fun to play uh, oh there we go but anyways that's slot racers yes I enjoyed it and I'm not ashamed much <laughs> all right let's get on to my next one here I, I played a long time ago uh, this is Pitfall. Uh, this is, uh, of course, made by Activision. And this was a huge, huge game back in the day. It's like everybody was, anybody was playing Pitfall. And it was, uh, I guess the goal was just to kind of collect these little treasures that are out and about and, and go in and traverse the whole thing and try to do it in, in the time limit because you only had 20 minutes. That's it. Um, it was kind of cool. Uh, <laughs> I was really not good at it, uh, but I tried, I tried, and like this, it was so sensitive. You want to talk about exact, you have to hit your jumps exact, because if you hit that edge of that little pool there, it would suck you down and you'd be dead, and, and that was it. And the gators, you had to land them on their exact head, and even if that tongue of the snake bit you or touched you, yep, you were dead. Everything was so precise. Keep running. Run, boy, run, run. All right, yeah, you had to land on their eyeballs. If you land on their jaws at all, uh, yeah, you, you died. You had to wait for their mouths to close and then you could do that. It was just so, it was, it was an incredibly fun game. And then they made Pitfall 2, which played so much better. But that is Pitfall, man. It was, it was fun, it was interesting. Um, definitely was a good game as a kid. Let's go on and let's get into the next one here though. It's been a long time. This is Demons to Diamonds. Yeah, yeah. Many of you guys probably never even heard of it, even knew it existed. I thought it was the, one of the coolest things. It had this crazy paddle that had like a just a circle and you had to, you know, twist left to right and you'd move you left to right. And had one button. Oop, oop, oop. You just hit the guy's going crazy. And you shoot these things and you try to get the best score you could. And I don't know why I loved it so much, but I did. I did. <laughs> I hope play this again also with my brother because the next, if you play doubles, it's like he would be on the top of the screen and you'd be on the bottom of the screen. We'd be trying to get the best score we could and try to get to the end. But I don't know if there is an actual end. It just gets crazier and crazier. A lot of the old games, they didn't have a, a, a true ending or uh, anything like that. It was just like a kill screen where you just got so many points, which I never, ever achieved. Or you got, uh, you know, you got dead, which I did that. I, I achieved that. I achieved that a lot. <laughs> Look at these graphics, though. Look at these demons, man. Dude. That was probably scarier than heck back when I was a kid. I don't even remember. <laughs> that was a long time ago. <laughs> and I don't think the controls worked all that well either. Nope, I died. Oh no. Or I took a hit. I don't know. <laughs> Your lives were represented by little blue bars and whatever else. It was fun. Uh, it, was, it was not good though. Alright, this one here. This one here is 
one of the very, very, very first uh, God games. Um, this is Populous, the original Populous. Now, I love this game. I still would play this game today. I just wish, the only thing I would wish, it would be a little bit more smooth and fluid. Uh, be able to, controls would be a little bit better because the controls weren't great. Um, but they weren't bad. They weren't bad. Considering this was a PC port onto the, the Super Nintendo. And I still remember this thing. I still remember this game to, the, to this day. I had the strategies of... Uh, See that the one with the little cross in, in his house? He was the leader. I could kind of tell him where to go and what to do. And I would take him and I would uh, actually tell him to go into the other enemy, into the enemy's area, and fight like a, a small little house like you see here. Because the small houses, you could fight them a lot easier than the bigger houses and you had a better chance of winning. Uh, so I'd have him fight in a small house in the enemy's encampment. So it's just like a little bit of seed in the enemy's area. And then it would start growing. And now I tell all the people as they spawn to start going uh, to, the, uh, to the, the, the leader's house. And they would go all the way across the map. And they would uh, go into the leader's house, make the leader stronger, uh, which is kind of cool. And then I would tell the leader just to go out and start fighting or I'd turn him into a knight. And uh, that was kind of cool. Now the fun thing about this is as you leveled up, the, the worlds got different. This one's here is just more of a regular, plain, uh, earthly type of world. But there you got alien worlds, digital worlds. I, I think I remember you turned uh, one of the night forms you, you could turn your leader into. I think one of them was a Game Boy. Uh, it was really kind of cool in that way. Uh, really fun game. I loved it. There was multiple sequels. I would love to see a game like this come out today. Uh, I would really, really would uh, just sit there and play. And I would play for hours. I would play for hours. In the summertime, I think we bought it and rented it or something. And I literally played for like hours. My brothers were like, man, let's go outside and play. But nah, that's me. All right, this one here. This one is Life Force. This was like one of the more action type uh, thing here. <laughs> this was so unique back in the day because you had these little ball things, multiples is what they called them. You get them, you get stronger, you get different weapons. Uh, that was really cool. Uh, it had some really good boss battles. This was an arcade. Uh, this was like top of the line stuff back then. And I absolutely loved it. Uh, it did come out for the Super Nintendo, I believe. I believe it did. And it was kind of cool. You could customize your ship in certain ways and, and how the little ball things would follow you, and which was really cool, man. You couldn't do that before, but now you, now it's uh, like, you know, pretty typical as you can customize so much stuff. But back then, not so much. Your character was what you had, and this was uh, didn't really confine it to your gameplay style or anything like that. It was just... Oh. oh no, the stones cannot be destroyed. That's what I really enjoyed about this game. It was really fun to play. Alright, on to this one. This one actually was a Super Nintendo title. And this is kind of a first step into the strategy area uh, that I like to play so much. Um, not a lot, but just a little bit. Um, I'll show you here pretty quick as it goes through you could customize your name and stuff like that I thought that was amazing at the time I thought it was really fun to play as you can see I am not Sir Shakyo but this is a um, you could have kind of like your strategy plan out your town save the people and do like certain little god things like make it rain and and uh, stuff like that, which was really fun for me at the time. Um, I still would enjoy a game like this to come out today, but I just don't see that happening. Keep it simple. I mean, it doesn't really take to take a whole lot, but it was kind of cool. Anyways, you'd have to go down to the planet because you're up floating in some big sky palace, which you never really see. But the graphics, dude, look at these graphics. I was like, oh, wow, this is amazing. This is so amazing. 
Yeah, it looks terrible. <laughs> Even right here, you gotta remember, back then, this was actually really good. Uh, the, coming from the 8-bit area, this looks so good. You're looking like, wow. Look at all the colors and, and the, the back screen actually moves separately from the front and uh, the music wasn't wasn't too bad. I mean, it's not great music, but uh, it wasn't too bad. It was actually kind of fun because uh, you got to remember, man, back at 8-bit, it was pretty simple. Just a lot of beeps and whatnot back then. But I played this uh, for quite some time and I actually beat it. Uh, a, a couple times. I think I got it later on an emulator at some point, but it was actually really fun to play. I really enjoyed it. Uh, definitely one of my favorite games as a kid. But I want to show one last game that I think you might actually recognize. Maybe. Maybe. But we'll see. Alright, here we go. Final Fantasy 2. Believe it or not, yeah. This was my very, very, very first RPG. I didn't even know what an RPG was. I think, to be honest, I, I don't even know how we got the game. I don't think my mom like bought it specifically because we asked for it. I think it was just like in a, a garage sale or something. I don't know. But we got it pretty cheap, and I was playing it. I, actually, I... I, I Take that back. I played it twice. I, I played it the first time. I'm like, what is this? I don't understand it. It's really tough. Uh, the enemies just kind of pop out of nowhere. You're into battles, and it's just like, what is it? What is going on here? I don't get it. And we got to this uh, one spot. We just, I mean, I'm talking really early in the game, and we we could not get past it. It was like one of the very first bosses, uh, official bosses. I, I think it was a white dragon mist thing. And it added... We could not get by it. So... I eventually threw it back in. And started playing it again. And started reading everything. And I was like, man, this is actually really cool. Because it had a really good story. It was kind of cool. It had this dark knight here. Uh, he goes on a crazy journey. And he turns into something else. I can't even remember. It's been so long, but it was kind of fun. You collect weapons and upgrade and level up, and it's like, wow, man, this is awesome. I'm getting stronger and more powerful, and this is this is just super fun. And the characters themselves, I mean, granted, if you look at the text, it's not all that complex. Uh, the story itself, it was not all that amazing, but uh, well, it was to me, especially at the time. I thought it was fantastic. And I still, still miss RPGs like this. Uh, the newer Final Fantasies, I don't care for. I don't like the style of them. I much prefer this. Granted, I would love to see a Final Fantasy VII remake. I love that style. But this one here uh, was has a special place in my heart. And I, I really, really enjoy this one. Because it was my first RPG and I, that I beat completely. And I was like, man, that was a good story. I want to play and find some more. And I think I did play a couple more. Um, Final Fantasy III, uh, which was also fun. It kind of tried to introduce 3D graphics into it a little bit. Um, still, still incredibly fun. Uh, but those are like my favorite games as a kid, man. I loved them. I'm not saying that they were all great. I'm saying some of them were good. Some not so much, but... I still loved them no matter what. So, what are some of the games that you loved as a kid? Go ahead and leave a comment down below, man. I would love to hear what you guys say about that. That's it for now, guys. This is Crazed. I'm out of here.